Pumpers TV Association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems, joined by head coach Corey Nielsen. Corey, you've got two massive games against some very good opponents, Sheffield on Saturday and then Cardiff on the road on Sunday. Are they good games for your team right now, really to test out you know, how, how they can be? Well, I think it's a great challenge. I mean, anytime uh, you're coming off uh, a disappointing weekend where you know, things really didn't go your way, you want to you know, respond in a positive way. And I think... Uh, you know, the only way to do that is, is to be challenged. And uh, obviously there's, you know, a lot of things going on within the club. Obviously we lost a, a couple of key components from personnel, um, which means other guys have to step up. They get good opportunity and we'll see what they got. You mentioned losing two guys, Brett Wolechka and, and Craig Puffer. Sometimes when there's adversity in the room, can, can that bring a room to, together? At times, yeah. At times, uh, obviously, you know, Brett was, Brett was a guy who was really – you know, key for us on the power play, and he, he scored a lot of goals. So goals are going to be tough to recover. Um, and Craig did a did a really good job for me while while I was here. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm anticipating that the guys will just have to pull up their socks and and uh, hopefully come back and and put in a good performance. You know, this week's been um, a lot of skill based stuff. You know, practicing. You know, how to score goals, competing, getting to the net, and things like that. Um, you know, we've been generating a lot more chances just uh whatever you know sometimes scoring goes in cycles sometimes it doesn't but uh we just have to have a little bit more focus and concentration more by the now we've talked about sheffield many times about how good they are where are their biggest strengths right now do you think their their biggest strength the last few times we played them is just the the way that they relentlessly threw out four lines and they just kept attacking kept working um, and we, I, I thought we endured really well for most of the game. And then, you know, maybe towards the end, um, we didn't have as much energy as they did towards the end. So it'll be an interesting uh, proposition for me just to find solutions to keep our guys energized you know, towards the end of the game. And what about Cardiff on Sunday? It's a bit of a different rink, obviously, to a, to a rink like here. And they're a very intense team. What's the secret to, to going in there to, to get results? It's been a while since, uh, you know, we faced, or I faced the, the car of Daphne's I don't remember the last time I was in that building, Good, but, point, uh, yeah. yeah, they're, they're strong. Again, they're, they're very deep. Um, and again, another, another team that's, uh, a different, a little bit more of a different challenge because they're a bit heavier, a bit bigger. Um, and, uh, obviously Sheffield's very physically competitive too. Uh, and both, both things, will, both games will be, uh, a very big challenge on on our players and see how how they're going to endure with the battle i mean we've uh we've played pretty decently against you know the belfast and the, and the guilfords were extremely fast uh move puck fast and all those and now this is a, a different challenge thank you corey have a lovely day thank you chris you as well